Oh no, I thought I'd just run through my dash repair. Now, I stupidly didn't take a photo beforehand, but um, anyway, stupid me. Anyway, this dash was, this is a dash out of an XE, so XD, XE, whatever. This had, was snapped right across here in at least five, so it broke here, cracked here, cracked here, cracked from there to there, cracked up twice, and then this way. So basically that screw didn't come out and I it was all cracked. So I just did a did a bit of a trial on see if I could actually fix a XE dash. Um, these things are prone to being very, very difficult to fix, I've been told. So anyway, um, steps, what I did. So got my old trusty super glue, whatever, branded doesn't matter. Um, and then where the crack was, I got the surface that was on the, uh, I suppose the, 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 not the bit that goes in, but the outside bit, the crack that went outwards. Oh God, I hope that makes sense. And I just laid the super glue on it, long in there, and then pushed the two pieces together, together to get them to line up as close as I possibly could. And I held that nice and tight and let that dry. Now, that alone will not hold the dash. So, what I did was then, to give it that um, backing and support, I got the old, trusty old bonding stuff. You can get that on eBay, blah, 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 wherever. That's This is that infrared light thingy be jiggy. Um, not infrared, the blue light thing. So, basically what I did was I added in some support. So on each one I did, I run the bonding. So I did uh, did the front and the center with the super glue, and then adding that support, I put a layer of bonding. I think that's okay. Bonding, yeah, that's what they call it. Uh, down the back, and then I use the, the the blue light to make that set. It takes about five seconds, so it's very quick to set. So that I did that on all the support areas, and on the back. And as you can see, I did it for each one of those cracks. So I did one crack with super glue, joined it all up, and then made sure the front was all nice and even, then did the backing support with the bonding. Same here, as you can see, there's massive crack, 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 everywhere, crack. Through there, another one through there. Through there, pardon me, blood. So yeah, that, um, so I just did that each time. Let's do one at a time, super glue, bondix for the support and try and get as flush as you possibly can. So that's, so that's what was the first step. So what I ended up with was if this was a bit, you can still see there's still cracks now, but these were a little bit obvious where the cracks were, just purely because it moved. The whole dash is, is, is flexible, so it moves as you work, which is a bit of a pain. So anyway, moving on, God, uh, the, so what I did was then, so then once I needed to do the surface cleaning, I just put a layer of the old um, bonding on each crack, just on the very surface, and then just got that, um, got that, uh, you know, dried with the blue light, um, and that just sort of filled the surface gaps. Um, let it all dry, and I just got my little little grinder tool and just very very early gently grinded it so it became nice and flat and that um, did its very very best I could to cover the cracks so there were still cracks every obvious and evident throughout um, so what I did I just did uh, the surface a bit of a clean and then got the old primer the surface primer stuff and put that on the on a rag so basically spray it on a rag, make sure it's clean of course. Spray it on a rag and you have a whole heap of it. And then all I did was just dab, dab it on into the cracks. Did that two or three times until the cracks were basically hidden. So just spray it, don't spray this on it. Uh, I couldn't really control where it went and it sort of went everywhere, but dabbing it on, ironically use the blue material because this is very similar to the uh, surface on the um, dash. As you can see, it's an almost identical surface. So when you dab it, that actually creates the um, divots. 
So from there, um, cleaned it up. Um, just again, so just just dabbed it on, and that filled the cracks. And then let that dry, and I did it two, about two three times, and that got it as close as I was sort of prepared to go without spending hours on it. Um, then I got uh, the old trusty engine black, so make sure it's not the gloss one. So this stuff stuff is the Jupiter high heat, but it doesn't say gloss. So, but I think there is versions of these with gloss, so be notice of that. Um, and I just sprayed it on here, just just did a pss, 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 couple of sprays through here, and then I got that cloth again, and then dabbed it again, dabbed it all in. It looks shiny initially, but once you dab it in and all that sort of stuff, um, it fades away. So as you can see, I mean, you can still very, very minute cracks, but this was a write-off. This whole thing was a write-off, but um, have a look. The, the strength of it now is as strong as, so it's it supports its own weight. Um, it's as, as strong as a normal dash. So anyway, um, and that's what I did. And then I just smoothed it out and make sure it was nice and dull to match the rest of the dash. And um, yeah, she's she's repaired. I mean, considering this was a write-off, that's a good outcome in my book. No reason. I hope that helped. Um, and yeah, I'm going to chuck this in my car.